Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to show you how to use Tenable Identity Exposure to remediate admin accounts that are not protected against Kerberos delegation. We'll be showing you using three key methods. The first method will be Active Directory GUI, then the PowerShell command line, and then the lastly, we'll use the export feature coupled with a basic PowerShell script. So let's jump to the platform. So inside dangerous Kerberos delegations, we do want to narrow this down from a DBA objects perspective to only the admin accounts that are not protected against delegation. So to do that, we'll start out by unchecking the other reasons. So here we're going to uncheck unconstrained delegation and uncheck, uncheck dangerous Kerberos delegation. So really we're focused on not protected against delegation with this, we can filter it down. And then further, we want to create a simple um, expression and we want to filter it down to only user object. So we're going to use user account control equals normal and that will further reduce it. So we can see here we have Chuck Norris. He's not protected against delegation. So if we come over to the recommendations, we can actually see that the um, that what we need to do is actually either put it in the protected users group or go in and mark the account as sensitive and cannot be delegated checkbox under the user account control. Remember, if you put it in the protected users group, there are limitations. One of the biggest um, limitations is that admin accounts will no longer be able to authenticate via NTLM. Any account in the uh, on our protected users group will not be able to use NTLM authentication, which is a good thing, but you may need to test this first before going that route. So what can we do immediately? Well, we can actually go in and under the account options, use the user account control and mark the account as sensitive it cannot be delegated checkbox. So let's do this in the GUI first. So here we're going to focus on Mr. Chuck Norris. We're going to go to the account tab and we're going to go in and mark the account as sensitive it cannot be delegated checkbox. This will remediate this for this one user. If we go back in, we can verify that we have addressed this um, risk for Mr. Chuck Norris. So let's actually go back in and see how we would remediate this using basic command line PowerShell. So let's go to, back to Active Directory, open up PowerShell. And here we're just basically going to run a simple PowerShell command where we're going to use the set AD account control, specify the identity and use account not delegated and set that value to true. That's how we would handle it from a one-off perspective. But most AD admins do not work in that manner. They actually work um, by using PowerShell scripting to do full automated remediation. So how would we do that? We could go in and check, go back into the platform and go in and select all the objects that we want to work with. Again, I'm going to go in and filter this down to the workable set that I want to use. And use that user account control equals normal. And now we can see we have these accounts um, that we need to work with. We're gonna go in and say select, you can do select all pages. Here we only have one page we're dealing with, so we can select all current page. And then we're going to export that out to a CSV. So let's go ahead and do export all. We're gonna export that out. That's gonna download it to report.csv. Now we can actually use this report.csv in a PowerShell script. So let's go back in and open up PowerShell and open up the PowerShell scripting engine here. Um, and we can see what we're doing here is we're basically getting the content, we're reformatting the content so that it is comma separated value. And then we're then going in to um, import that and then do it for each and setting that value to true for all those objects. So simply all we need to do is run a simple PowerShell script. You could make this um, you know, more pretty or when you're going in and you know adding different um, parameters, but really my goal is just to show you how you can export this data and go in and remediate this very quickly in your environment. So let's go and do that. So let's go in and run the PowerShell command that I have here and go in, we'll go back into Tenable and now we should be able to see that the remediation has been complete. We can see this by filtering it down again the same way we did earlier. And further um, filtering this by, sorry, 
click in one filter selection. As you can see, all those user objects were gone. If we go back and use our user account control equals normal filter, once again, we've done the full remediations. Thanks for tuning in and thank you.